Hey, what up, guys? It's Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Pikmin 2. So, in the last episode, we pretty much finished off um, the last hole at the Valley of Repose, which is the subterranean complex. Um, it was kind of, it was still kind of annoying. I just had to do like, four, I think four, yeah, four more sub levels, and then um, which the sixth sub level took me forever, which is where we left off. And um, and, and once once I was done getting all the treasure there, I, I accidentally left left the hole entirely so I had to make my way all the way to the sixth sub level again which 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 kind of sucked so but um at least I didn't have to um you know get the treasure again and all that but um other than that though everything just everything went well afterwards and then um pretty much the boss of the sub training complex we had to deal with um oh yeah we had to deal with this guy last episode the Gatling Groink you guys got to see him for the first time but the boss we had to deal with was this guy and you'll see who, yeah, look at this guy. Yeah, as you guys see, his name is Manit Legs. It's like a robot, it's like a robot version of B Long Legs, which I never really mentioned B Long Legs' name last episode, but this is pretty much him. I just want, I want him to shoot his, um, get his machine gun out. I want, I want you guys to see this kookiness. Oh, hold on, give me a second. Hopefully this works. If not, then I'll, um, just go check out the last episode and you'll see, but, um, Unless he doesn't now. I don't know. Either way, though, after we pretty much, you know, we did all the, um, yeah, we basically got all the treasure at the, um, subterranean complex. And we also got an upgrade where we, um, yeah, we also got an upgrade where, uh, we can now, like, um, have the caves all lit up. Like, like, pretty much, it's, it's like a solar, it's called a solar system, pretty much, which is cuckoo. But, um, it pretty much lights up all the caves that are dark and all that. So that way, you it's actually a lot easier now to actually, um, you know, look around and stuff since you guys saw how dark the dungeons were and everything, so. But in this episode, as you guys can see, we don't have all the treasures above ground, but we'll go back here later for that. For now, we're going to go and back return to the perplexing pool since we haven't been there in forever, so I might as well just go back here. Plus, we are so close to repaying all the debt, as you guys can see right there. 9,971 out of 10,000 Pocos. We're, we're like really close to paying off the debt. So I want to I actually take care of a um our, a hole first before we uh before um because it's gonna show it's gonna show something really you'll you'll see you'll see once we repay all the debt um it's pretty much gonna like kind of conclude the game but not fully so but yeah we're gonna finally return here to the perplexing pool so here we go all right so now let's go and um pretty much get our Pikmin out here you know you guys saw I had like so I had like really really few purples. So then I finally got more of them at the, um, I think, well, I did pause the video for it, but I got more, um, purples at the, uh, em emergence cave because of, because of all the Pikmin I, I, I didn't have. And I, I still need to gain, I still need to restock on Pikmin 2. Pikmin 2, get it? It's like, alright, I'll stop. Kuku, I actually, I actually said the title in the, in, in without even saying the title, you, you, you got, you guys get it. Alright, so let's go and get all of our Pikmin pretty much, because apparently we don't have at least 100 yet. So I'm gonna go and restock first. Yeah, I don't even have enough reds, don't I? Hold on, how many yellows do I even have? I, I need more of y'all. I have 25 yellows, alright, so I guess the yellows are good for now a little bit. Oh my, I need more blues and I need more reds, right? 19 reds. But I definitely need more blues. Do you guys saw I have only like 13 blues, like dang. We're gonna need to restock on that. Um, this air- oh crap, here's, here comes sheer waves. Nope. No, kill him. I ain't losing pigment today. Well, I, I might. I mean, I will probably, but let's take some corpses. Might as well. Wait. Dang, it doesn't even. Um, where y'all taking that at? Are they all taking that at the onions or something? All right. I, it, it didn't even show who, where they were taking it to. Like, I, I don't know. It just doesn't even show how many. I mean, I know it takes only. It looks like it takes only one Pikmin, but like, it doesn't even tell you where they're taking it to. But you, I mean, you could tell by like um the color of the Pikmin. But I saw the white Pikmin were taking one of the sheer waves, and I didn't know where they were taking it to. But I figured they were gonna take it to the. Uh, of course, they were gonna take it to the um the red onion, because of course the red onion is where they would usually go to. I guess. I don't know. All right. All right. So we got 99 Pikmin so far. So, just need one more, and we'll have 100. I, I don't really care how many Pikmin I have right now, but, um, yeah, you guys remember, this area has one of the, one of the most annoying holes in the entire game. 
and you'll see what that is. We're not gonna take care. We're not gonna take on it just yet, but we'll take on it momentarily. Oh yeah, and I, oh I love this right here. So what this is, these are like little rocks, right? And, and apparently in these rocks are nectar. It's really cool. Like look at that, one of the nectar just came out. It's actually really cool. Hold on, you guys get over here real quick. All right. Now I'm gonna throw the non um. Here, I'll throw you up there. Wait, no. Dang it! No, this is gonna be too tough. I don't know. I'll just throw. I'll just throw every um every single one of y'all, and then y'all try to get the. Uh... All right. Well, I guess the purple Pikmin can't get up there. But um, y'all need to like um get some of that nectar or something. Dang, I'm it's like not even. I'm like throwing the flower ones most of the time. Like, come on. I mean, I do have most flowers, but geez. Or I don't know. Okay, that works. All right. Well, I mean, that's that's good for now. Oh, here comes more sheer weights. All right. Nope. So the next hole I want to go to, I kind of forget where it was, but um. Yeah. So we're not gonna go over here just yet. One of the holes are one. One of the holes is over here, but we're not going there just yet. But you'll see which hole it's gonna be soon. But um. For now, let's go and um. Make your way around here. And, um, you guys remember we took, we took care of the Citadel Spiders. That was pretty much the only, um, hole we had to deal with. And, um, you guys remember those, um, Hermit Crawl Mad enemies. They were really annoying. That was pretty much my first, um, roaring episode of, uh, Pikmin 2. Wait, did I save Pikmin? I saved every single one of y'all? Holy crap. Jeez, I didn't expect to save y'all. And, of course, we got the, um, got the infamous Wally Wog that we have to take care of, too. So, I'm gonna go and, um, hopefully there's no, um... Oh, of course. Well, I mean, these guys are harmless. These, um, these leaf bug enemies. These are, these guys. I think you guys got to see them before, but, yeah, so. Plus, I want I wanted to, um, obviously return here, just, I don't know, because obviously we haven't been here in a while, and plus I want to actually kind of listen to, to this, uh, music. This is, this is one of my favorite music, environmental music in the, um, like, uh, of these areas. Out of, like, all the music from the, you know, like, the, uh, Valley of Repose, you know, those types of areas. Perplexing pool is my favorite, to be honest. So let's just go and get the blue Pikmin to take care of this, um, take care of this part, since now we can actually go in the water. I think this is the first time we've even been to the Perplexing Pool with blue Pikmin. We've never been here with blue Pikmin yet. Yeah, because we obviously return to, once we return to the Awakening Wood to get blue Pikmin, we just, we just say, you know what, let's just go and finish off the, the, um, you know, finish off Awakening Wood 100% it. And obviously we're not 100% done with the, Valley of Repose just yet, but I'm, there's like there's just a few more treasures we need to get in the Valley of Repose, and I, I think it's best to wait for now, just so we can. Um, right, come on, yeah, but I lost one, of course. I'll take it, whatever. I'm not really trying to restock yet for now, but um, I want to I want to at least take out this, take down this bridge as well. So, oh, and there's there's you right there. There's a treasure right on the other side of here, and I kind of forget how to get it. But I remember having so much trouble trying to get it before, um, when I first, when I, when I recently started playing this again. Pretty, actually, pretty much when I first got here on my own. Because Nick used to kind of, you know, um, my friend Nick, shout outs to him since he, um, he was the one who, um, introduced me to Pikmin in the first place and how to play the game and everything. So, and pretty much now I've been, my, my experience with Pikmin has, has pretty much grown stronger. I mean, I, I, I mean, I kind of did have an experience with it, um, I kind of did start having a kind of a bond to the game um, back in like sixth grade when Nick um, introduced me to the game. But then, like after like seven years, um, I just said, you know, what? I'm not, I, I'm not gonna focus on Pikmin. I, it, it, this game, this game just made me too hunched, which is why I took I took a long break from this game, and then I was just too hunched playing it because I was afraid of lo of losing Pikmin and, and stuff, like doing all this. So you guys see how annoying this game can be. But it's still, it's still a lot of fun. It's still fun to play the game. Plus, I was I wasn't as good as, and I was not really as good at Pikmin back then as I am now. I'm actually really good at this game now, so you guys can see I'm I've been doing pretty well. I mean, there are some strategies I've been looking up and everything. It's just like it's still very tough. Still, anyway, you guys saw that the, the last episode. You know, the man at legs battle that was still very tough, and you guys saw I was doing lots of strategy to do that. Oh yeah, and this part right here with the electric fence with the water. I kind of forget how to do this, so, um, no, I know you have to, no, I, I know what you have to do, I know, I know exactly what you have to do, hold on, 
But you have to make sure your yellow Pikmin don't go in the water for this. I think, or actually, I think you, I think you have to have your yellow Pikmin in there. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember how this is supposed to work, but I believe you need your yellow Pikmin for this. Man, it's like all of our moves so quick now. All right. How many minutes right now? Geez, ten minutes already. All right. All right. So let's go and um. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you guys don't know, this is this is pre this episode's been pre is pre recorded because um. If you guys don't know, right now I'm actually at the beach. Either I'm at the beach or like leaving the beach. I don't, I don't know. Whenever this video goes up, you guys, this is pretty much my my last day at the beach. So and I wanted to pre-record this just because um right now right now it's like um 11 11 p.m. on July 5th, yeah July 5th. So um same the same day I pretty much recorded um the last video which is Mario Kart Tour uh, episode 11. If you guys didn't see that either, I pretty much explained that I was going to be pre-recording this episode. Um, that day, so. But, um, let's get that nectar. Give me that. So just to let you guys know that this is pre being pre this was pre-recorded just because I, I didn't feel comfortable coming back from the beach and then recording, um, this episode. And then it'll take, like, so many hours to, like, upload and everything. And then by the time it's uploaded, it's already gonna be, like, past midnight or some crap if I come back. Because I, I'm, I would come back, like, a little late. Okay, you guys can't get that just yet. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do it. Hold on. So here's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna do it like this. Like I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the camera like this, and then we'll have the Pikmin follow this electric fence, so that way they can go and get it like this. Yeah, just like that. Oh crap! Here comes the Wally Wog. Yeah, just like this. Just take down the the bridge, the um, the electric fence. Oh, and actually, I don't have to. I I don't have to um try to drag them across the water. I can just throw them from from here to there. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. That's kind of cute, Kale. All right, the lighting seems a little off, I think. No, I'm gonna fix it, all right. I thought the lighting wasn't good enough for a second, but, um. All right, so I guess while they're doing that, hopefully they don't try to get themselves in the water. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go attack the the Wally Wog with the blue Pikmin, wherever they are. I forget where they put them. Oh yeah, I put them over there. All right. Yeah, because apparently it is taking a little while for those, those um, Yellow yeah, Pikmin to take down that wall. Oh wait, they kind of took it down a little bit now. I think. Yeah, 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 they did. All right, you guys just stay right there. Oh crap, the day's almost over. I didn't realize the day was about is, is already ending. All right. All right, hold on. Yep, there we go, good. All right, good, finally. All right, you guys just stay right there. Hold on. Don't do anything just yet. All right, so I guess this is all we were just doing. We didn't really get anything out of this. Oh, oh yeah, I'm trying to get that treasure, but then again, I don't, I don't want to get that treasure just yet. Yeah, because I don't, I don't, I want to, I want to actually repay all the debt in a whole. You'll see why. You'll see why I want to do that instead of actually repaying all the debt right now, like above ground, like this. So we're gonna leave that treasure be for now. And then um, yeah. So we're at 13 minutes. So for now we're gonna we're gonna go make our way to. The, oh, no, get out, get out. All right. So yeah. See, they they try to kill themselves like that. Huh? All right. Throw all y'all over there. And now it's going um. Get back to the onion since it's about to be sunset. Or wait. What's up here then? I mean, I think I know what's up there. I don't know. Well, well. I, I guess I'll try. I'll try to investigate something. Some areas, maybe a little bit, real quick. So let's just go and um bring all these other Pikmin back to Louie. Now bring the blues with me, just to see, just to investigate some stuff, and then um I'll make my way, hopefully as quick as I can. I mean, all mark move fast, but let's just see what happens here. Let's just see here. All right, because I, I I can't remember where this next hole is. I'm trying to go to, so hopefully I can find it somehow. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who did I bring? Really? Of course, I just had. To... Well, you did. Come on, I got you. I, I literally called you to get out of the water. Why didn't you. So annoying. I hate that. I, I didn't even think I brought a freaking yellow Pikmin with me. Really? Oh, shoot. What's it? Oh, yeah, it's that. I think I know what's over there. Yeah, I know what's over there. I think up, up ahead is where one of my least favorite holes is located. 
But right here, yeah, here we go. This is the next hole right here. So we're gonna go take down this electric fence. Not now, but um. Oh shoot, I forget. Oh no, I know, I know how to do this. I know exactly. We have to bring the. We have to put the yellow Pikmin. Oh, yeah, now it's about to be sun. Yep, it's almost sundown, of course. See, we do have to do something about this. We have to get the yellow Pikmin up here and get them down. You'll you'll see. We're gonna just we're just gonna go and um. Get gather all the Pikmin so that way that we don't lose them and then um. Yeah, do all that, so. Of course, I lost, like, a few Pikmin. Well, I only lost two Pikmin, but, of course, I lost one to Drowning, of course. It's so annoying when that happens. Alright, so, um, we're gonna go and just go to Sunset. And I'm sure I got everybody, so I don't gotta worry about all that. Alright. So, now that we got, um, yeah, I know we didn't make any progress except kind of restocking. I always hate that. I always hate that we don't do, we don't, like, do much whenever, um, we get, uh, like during during a day, of course, because the time just keeps going and going and going and during the during the um the days. It always makes me the hook sometimes, but yeah. See, we got nothing in return. All we got in return was uh, losing three Pikmin. That was it. I mean, we got we gained Pikmin actually, so that's good. Well, for all of them. Great. Well, another another drowned Pikmin added to the list. Of course, why am I why am I doing so bad at losing Pikmin to drowning for some reason? I don't know why I keep I don't know why that keeps happening like that. So it's like I have some sort of luck in this in this playthrough about losing Pikmin. Oh crap! Lo looks like the presents the hook. Only a bit of debt remains. If you two dolts can gather treasures with such ease, I figure I could find boatloads down there. I'll have to think about this. Uh, I, I can kind of see his eyebrows. He just he just looks kind of creepy a little bit right there, because his eyebrows are like actually like like that. All right, so let's go back in and um, we'll make our way and get started with um the next hole, and you'll see what it is. It's actually one of the easiest holes, I think. I think I think so uh, from what I remember. I don't know. It's been a while, so it's just gonna get everybody out. I mean, I do want to restock a little bit. You know what, guys? How about this? I'm gonna restock a little bit. I'll pause this and then I'll catch you guys once I restocked on on some Pikmin. All right, guys. Now that I restocked, um, I kind of I also um made sure that the all the Pikmin are equal. So I have twenty four. Uh, I have twenty four reds, twenty four yellows, twenty four blues, and yeah, it's, it's just equal. I didn't expect. I I didn't really expect it to be like that for a second after I kind of restocked a little bit. I killed some water dumples like over over there somewhere. With the blue Pikmin, and I, I mostly um, took their corpses to the blue onions, and I took one. They left one of those little number things, so I took um, I just gave a gave that to a random Pikmin, and now I have 24, 24 um of these three Pikmin species equal. Obviously, I have um you know seventeen yellows and eleven purples. So, all right, so now we're gonna go and make our way to the um to uh, the next hole here. I don't I don't want to reveal the name just yet, but um, you, you'll see you'll see what it is. I just don't want to reveal it just yet. Alright, so let's go and um, hopefully make our way there without losing any Pikmin for this. Oh crap, I, why, what am I doing? Kuko. Alright, so um, I want to... um, Hold on. I want to make sure that the yellow Pikmin are... Um, wait, hold on. Give me a second, actually. So here's what I'm going to do. Dang, alright, no, no. Put, put the purples up there. The purples could... Yeah, because look at this. Obviously, they add all that weight. So, I want to get... I want to actually... Oh, no. Hold on. Let me go and take care of this asshole real quick. Because you want to go and sabotage the mission. You know what? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and just leave um, Louie down there. And he's going to throw all the Pikmin up here where for all of them. So, that way I have all the Pikmin up here. Just going to kill this freaking swooping snitch bug. All right, there we go. Oh, come on now. Hold on, give me a second. All right, um, Louie goes down there now, and then we'll throw all the Pikmin up there. So, um, I guess I'll catch you guys once again, so that way you got, so I can save all this, so I can save some more time, though. All right, guys, now I got all the Pikmin up there, so now Louie, Louie's just gonna be down there now. But um, yeah, so we gotta go over here. Wait, it's right, yeah, right there. There's the electric fence to the entrance. So we're gonna um obviously get our yellows for this. So hopefully we don't get any um. Other Pikmin species. I gotta be careful. Yep, here we go. I got I actually got some reds in here. Thank God I noticed, or else I would have been the hook. Whoop! No, no, no. Come on. Why did it switch back to yellows like that? There we go. You know, we'll leave, we'll leave, we'll leave that yellow there for now. But um, 
Let's just go and um, do that here. And now they're going to take down this wall now, finally. Alright. Well, of course I can't get back up there, so... Oh, crap. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't screw anything up or I'll be, I'll be hunched. Wait, no, I can get some Pikmin over here and they'll help. Yeah, here we go. Good. At least I still have reach for these Pikmin, though. Alright, so now I have to do this again while they take down that wall so I can get back up here. Because I'm not trying to wait for these yellow Pikmin to um, take down the wall like that, so... Alright, now Louie is going to do this... Do what he did before, you know. Do all that. Hold on. Did I, did I get him? Alright. I, I guess I did. Alright, and... Alright, no, you... Come on, what, what are you doing? What is he... He won't even... He won't listen... He won't listen to the hook. Of course, he's... Yeah, he's not gonna listen. What the heck? Let me try to get his attention again. He's ignoring me. What the heck? I hope I didn't glitch him. I'll be... I'll be hunched. Maybe. I'm gonna need another one of y'all. Oh, right, there we go. What the heck? Y'all were ignoring me? What the heck was wrong with y'all? Alright. Jeez, this is kind of annoying a little bit. You guys see how much trouble I'm having a little bit right now with this? Alright. Y'all, don't call Louie, though. I'm always hunched trying to accidentally... If I accidentally call Louie sometimes. Alright, so now that wall's still getting taken down like that. Alright. Okay, we, we, oh yeah, I did restock, so I'm gonna get some more nectar real quick. So I was getting a little, I was, no, oh, not these guys again. Every time. Oh, come on, why'd you run all the way over there like that? Jeez. I just saw a white Pikmin just zoom by like that. Like, you just zoomed all the way over there. Alright. Alright, good. Alright, so we got 77, and I think that's, wait, where are my other Pikmin go? Hold on, I, f I hope they didn't run off all the way over there or something. I feel like this is not the all the... Oh no, I, th I, I think it is actually. Do I? Are these all the Pikmin I have with me? Let me see. I have, Oh yeah, I have one yellow with me, that's right. Yeah, since there's 23... Okay, good, I have everybody still. Good. I'm just making sure. I'm glad, I'm glad I kept count of how many Pikmin I have right now. Alright, so... I guess we'll worry about... Yeah, there's all these, um, these bull bears right there. Yep, there we go. Now the wall's taken down now. Alright, so you guys just stay right there, and now, it's time to make our way to the next hole, which you'll see what it's called once, um, you know, let's just go and just trigger this cutscene first before we take care of, yeah, kill her, that, um, well, him or her, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know why that, um, I, I just assumed it's gender, kind of, that, um, that, that, um, you know, that, that thing that carries nectar, I don't know. I, I, I just, I just always, I just, that's like my, my, um, my instincts think that it's a female for some reason, I don't know. Because of the because of the noises it makes and all that, but still like yeah, we'll we'll take care of that um that creature once we um yeah after this cutscene. Interesting, my odor detectors are reacting. A strong scent wa wafts from that hole. I'm I'm a machine, so rating sense is beyond me. But your faces tell me all I need to know. You are both drooling. I wish just once I could feel what it's like to drool. Yeah, so it's like it's it basically there's like food down there, and here's what it's called. Yeah, Glutton's Kitchen, that's the next hole we're going to be doing. And it has only electric hazards, but I'm still going to bring all my Pikmin anyway. Alright, let me go and get Louie over here so that way, um... I mean, I don't really... No, we don't have to worry about that, come on then. Oh yeah, we got to go and take care of, um... Take care of this, um... Alright. Oh, yep, there's the Hermit Crawl Mads back there. Alright, hold on. There we go. Alright. So there we go, now we got all these... Oh, wait, are these all flower pick? Oh, no, there's, I think there's, like, one leaf Pikmin now. But we got all these flowers now. And I think down, I think it's down there. Oh, wait, no, that's Citadel Spiders. I forget where, I think it's over there somewhere. Where the, um, that one hole I hate. You'll, you'll see, but, um, I, I don't really remember, so. Alright, hold on, give me a second. I'm trying to, I was just trying to get the camera fixed. Alright, let's just go and begin this now, and then, um, we'll see how much we can get done. So we're just going to begin this right now. And wherever we, uh, wherever spot we're at, we'll just end it off, so. But here we go. Now it's time to begin Glutton's Kitchen. Yeah, look at this. Oh, now as you guys can see, everything's lit up just like that. Since now, and we don't have to worry about everything being so dark. Yeah, look at this. Because I think this place is supposed to be dark, but at least, but now we actually could just go and, um, yep, just like that. Oh, there we go. I lost my first Pikmin right off the bat. Dang. I should have just kept attacking him. Alright. 
Man, y'all really want to carry the corpses. Alright. Wait, look at this. It looks like it looks like some 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 sort of um we have like a wooden floor and like it looks like all these uh these blocks, these toy blocks and stuff. Almost like we're in like a children's playroom or something. Oh yeah, and, and um the Yeah, look at this. We have to get that item right there. Yeah, and this, this music kind of sounds cuckoo too. It sounds like a, a ch yeah, like yeah. All right, so uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we can't go over there ourselves. So we have to go and bring our um, get our pigment over there to get that. And I think yellow pigment is what we need for that. I guess I'm just gonna get them. Here. Yeah, just like that. And then they're gonna make they're gonna um try to get them over here. Yeah, just like that. Oh god, I'm somehow, somehow I'm surprised that they actually, they, they're still able to make, oh wait, you guys are over there though. Wow. I, I, was, I was about to say, I'm surprised they know how to like, kind of get over here. Well, spe well especially the, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm kind of surprised these Pikmin know, know how to get over there with the, um, over, um, out of that box area that, like, that we can't, couldn't get in. And look at that, now we have repaid our debt, as you guys can see right there, 10,000 and one poco. See this this is this is what yeah and we we and it's it only it was only worth like thirty pocos and we just got we already paid off the debt. So that's why I didn't I didn't want to get that other treasure just yet. But look at that master's instrument which pretty much has um wait it says paints Mario paints yeah that's yeah that's what I was Peach Pink yo 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 yeah so it's another Mario reference. Alright and that's the only treasure um down here so Alright oh yeah there's the next hole right there yeah it was, it's just right there yeah, this is this is all we have right here. So this this was easy. Yeah, th yeah, this is kind of easy though. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely not gonna have any trouble with this. But we'll see what happens here. All right, so let's go to sub level two. And yeah, see, see, this 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 was originally supposed to be dark. It was supposed to be originally dark here, but it got bright. You guys kind of saw immediately that it got bright. It, it immediately got bright once we um kind of entered. You guys kind of saw it, it was like kind of dark a little bit, but then it got bright. But look at these guys. So just, just to let you guys know, these guys are actually harmless. They look like, um, bulborbs, but they're, um, they're actually called bread bugs. And obviously they look like bread, which pretty much, which, which pretty much how they got their name. But they're, look, let's see. Look at that, they're completely harmless. They just carry the, they just take the corpses. Or sometimes they would take the treasure, yeah, they would take the treasures away. And then they have their own holes like the Hermit Cromads do. You guys see right there, they, they would take something like that in there. So, sometimes they could get really annoying. And you will, you will be surprised of who the boss is of this hole. But, um, come, come on, I didn't want to do that. All right, jeez. I always hate when you're so close to a treasure and your thing just goes goes, your um the meter just goes crazy. It's kind of annoying because you're like, you're like kind of trying to talk or focus and it just gets so loud and it just gets yeah pretty loud like that. I also noticed that whenever you're fighting a boss, actually like I don't know if you guys noticed in the um in the subterranean complex when we face the man at legs or your happiness emblem, it says squirt. But um. Yeah, so pretty much, um, when we were fighting, um, Man at Legs, um, like, we, 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 we were, we were fighting him, and he had, he had, um, you know, that upgrade where it lights up all the, um, lights up everything. Oh, there's the female shear crubs. But, um, we were fighting him, and, and he, when he, when he had the treasure, it was, the, the meter was, the meter was going off, like crazy, just like how it, how it is here, but instead, it, it was actually a little more quiet since we were fighting the boss, and I, and I, I can understand why they, why they made it more quiet while we were fighting Man at Legs. Because of the, um, you know, obviously it'll be, it's too loud and all that, so. Alright. But, um. Is this the, is this the only treasure? Oh, wait, no, this is not treasure, though. Kuka, I first thought this was the treasure. This, um, I, apparently this, um. Is it? No, it's not. Alright, come on. This freaking sure crubs. Just kill. Oh, no, he's taking the treasure. Nope, you know what? Nope. This is our treasure, buddy. Alright, so you wanna fight? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you're supposed to you're supposed to knock them upside down like this. But yeah, you you can kill them, but they're they're always such a pain to kill because they like flip upside down, and that's the only way you can actually um damage them. I don't know. They're so they're so annoying to kill though, and I can understand. I'm not surprised because since they're actually very friendly. Oh crap! Oh, look out, guys. Yeah. All right, huh? I'm gonna kill this clicking bro net real quick. Come on. 
Oh, good. Okay, got poisoned. All right, good. All right. Now that we took care of that, oh, it's like a cinnamon roll type of thing. All right. Imperative cookie. I guess it's kind of a cookie. I guess you could say that, but. All right, now that we got that taken care of. Oh, come on. Is that? Okay, good. That's a female. Thank God. Almost, I'm always hunched towards the male sheer cubs, of course, because they're, they're the only ones that, that eat your Pikmin. Oh, wait, where are you? Oh, yeah, you're, y'all take, wait, he just took, he just took, a, um, a female sheer cub that was still alive. That's kind of cuckoo. Oh, now that female sheer cub's definitely dead now. All right, where's the, oh, yeah, there's the hole, yeah. All right. I mean, we're off to a pretty good start so far, so. But, yeah, this is Glutton's Kitchen. You guys kind of saw that we, we got, um, first we got, like, a, I guess, like, a crayon. Yeah, it was, it was a crayon, that's right. Or chalk, I think it was like chalk or something. We got um a bottle cap and a cook and some kind of cookie, either a cookie or a cinnamon roll. And yep, look at that, we already have um we already have electric hazards right here. Oh great. God dang it. Oh, I don't like dealing with all this cuckiness. Alright. Alright, good. No no whites in the in the mix, good. Alright, y'all just take care of that real quick. Yep, good. All right, is there anything over there? Nah, I doubt that. I don't know. Wait. Oh yeah, you can actually kind of go over this. I think I somehow went over this, but you're not really supposed to go over here like that. All right. Hey, you, you don't get, don't even go near my other Pikmin. You know what? Oh, you know what? No, we're not doing this today. There we go. All right. And we got more bread bugs here. There's a xylophone right there too. All right, here we go. Here we go, y'all. Yeah, it's cuckoo. We have like all these, all these giant objects and stuff. Yeah, it's almost like it's almost like this resembles like a kid's room or something. Like, it, I don't know. That's what it feels like. I guess it makes sense because it's kitchen. And, you know, I, every every kid likes like some good sweets and stuff. You know. Cause obviously every kid has a sweet tooth and um i guess this kind of resembles like you know what kids like to uh to do and stuff like you know like the xylophones and stuff now it's, it's i always like this hole it's kind of peaceful too a little bit but still kind of annoying and i think i see one of those uh those blow hogs up there oh great i really don't want to deal with them oh wait oh crap he's still alive i thought i killed them both for a second but i, I just re i saw he was still squirming all right there we go all right, now you're next, buddy. All right, <clears throat> gotta kill you. And obviously, these guys. Oh crap! All right, good. Oh, and at least now Olimar doesn't have to worry about getting getting hit by by the wind and stuff. But I still want to protect my Pikmin from him because, uh, of course, he's gonna get rid of your flowers and stuff. So you know what? Yes. Good. Just take him down. It's not gonna take too long from the yes. You know, I just gotta fling my Pikmin like that. I see you. Okay, hold on. I'm not gonna. Oh, I think I just. Yeah, well, I just lost the flower. Wait, how? Oh crap. Mm. Wait, how? Wait, hold on. How they get blown and they still they still have their flowers? I'm kind of surprised. But one of the one of them just lost their flower somehow. All right, this is gonna take a while. Oh, oh lord. Yeah, this guy just gets annoying. Yeah, how? Is it because he got into contact? Oh, there's a treasure, but I'm not really gonna... I want to take care of him before I get get that treasure. So, you know what, guys? I will pause it. Just just to save some time. I'm gonna pause it until I take care of this this blowhog. Because, of course, he's taking he's taking forever to kill. To Yeah, he's obviously taking forever to, to kill. So, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Alright, guys. I got him now. So, there we go. Alright. <clears throat> so, now let's go and get ourselves the treasure. And, you know, do all that. Wait, where did my other three yellows go anyway? Oh, you guys are over here. All right, I need to fix the camera because, of course, I kind of screwed up a little bit. All right, so I got, um, hold on. Why did I get seven of y'all? Wait, what happened? Did I call you guys back? All right. Hopefully this bread bug doesn't try to interfere. Cuckoo's just, he's just ramming into the xylophone like that. He's being cuckoo. All right, come on. Jesus, this, this uh, pigment's so slow. No, you stay, you stay away, buddy. You stay away. <clears throat> Yeah, you know what? Let's fight. Let's square up. Come on. <clears throat> yeah. Dang, it's like, yeah, it's, see, it does nothing to him because you have to, like, knock him upside down and then, you, then that's the only way he's vulnerable. That's just what's kind of cuckoo a little bit. 
All right, so now that we got ourselves that, which is a compass. I for, is it, no, this is not really an upgrade though, but Director of Destiny. Oh, that would, that would have been awesome if that was a, um, an upgrade though. Usually, because I'm, I mean, I'm kind of used to used to that. Oh, cr Ooh, that was so close. I didn't, I didn't realize that the electric hazards were still there. I would have been so mad if I got lost picking like that. But um, I'm just, I'm just kind of used to you know compasses being being um, a useful item. Like um, like in Zelda, for example, where you um, like you would get a um, when you're in a dungeon, you would get a compass, and that would help you um, know where you are, pretty much. Because obviously in dungeons, you get a map and a compass. A map is pretty much obviously the map where you, you'll know which rooms there are and everything. And the compass is pretty much uh, your you know your cursor and all that, like the the where where you are in the map. So we don't gotta worry about that right now. But um, I'm gonna take that. Once I uh, do this, oh look, there's even um, a yellow candy pop, but just in case we um, yeah. Oh by the way, this this um, I forget what this was called. Dang it, how did I, how did I forget what this this instrument was called? Wait, who took the? You guys took the corpse? Oh, you took it from wow the bread bug. He's almost dead too. That's cute, kid. All right. Oh, maybe that was his health bar. Yeah, that's per okay. I thought I thought I thought um earlier that that bread bug. Was taking a, a living uh, female sheer crow, but that was actually his health. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Right here, I'll, I'll leave them. Okay, they're gonna take the other way. Might as well just get rid of this, just for the heck of it. All right. I guess we'll end off the episode. Yeah, we're at 36 minutes, so I think this it's the best time to end off this episode once we get this um item. So, this is a treasure. Yeah, and there we go. Now we got, um, oh yeah, this harmonic synthesizer. So it's like we were collecting instruments and stuff as well, like, it's cute care. Yeah, because this is like an instrument room, I guess. Yeah, not, yeah, so this is obviously not an item. You guys probably thought this was, this was a treasure, but we don't gotta worry about that. We would've, we probably would've need all of our Pikmin to get that, and that, that would've been such a big item for the ship to carry a little bit. Alright, listen, I wanna go, I just wanna kill this bread bug just to be cute care. God dang it. <clears throat> I can't get him at all. Dang it. Alright, this is kind of annoying. Alright, oh yeah, he's dead. There we go. Yep, so see, you can, see it's obviously possible you could kill the bread bugs. They're, they're just such a pain to kill. I hate them sometimes. I don't really hate them too much, though, since they're, obviously they're harmless. But they are they can be annoying taking your treasure sometimes, taking corpses, all that type of stuff sometimes, though. But they're not too bad. So... But I can see why they're, they're, they're tough to kill. So, Alright, so now that's going to conclude this episode of Pikmin 2. So I'm going to like thank you all like, uh, no, like, thank, uh, thank you all for watching. I can't say that right for some reason. Let me say it again. Like, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. And in the next episode, we're going to continue off um, in Glutton's Kitchen. And um, yeah, we'll see what um, the rest of this hole has to offer. This uh, this, you know, this cave and everything. So, but for now, um, we got bread bugs to deal with and everything. We still, obviously, we still got some harmless enemies and stuff. What, why, why are you walking through my, my Pikmin like that? I didn't know. What is he doing? Why is he just walking like, he's going cuckoo a little bit. Like, why, why y'all, why he just walk straight like this? He just does this. As if, as if, as if, um, so, as if, like, the CPU's controlling, someone's controlling the bread bug and their controller broke or something. I don't know. It's kind of cuckoo a little bit, but it's still kind of cool how we have these holes and stuff that um that um that's where the bread bugs stay in because it kind of it obviously reminds me of the annoying her um you know the hermit crawl mads those guys you guys remember how annoying they were um in Citadel spiders so I think it was Citadel spiders yeah but um yeah it's gonna pretty much be it so all we pretty much did was begin um. You know, Glutton's Kitchen. I did mostly restock on Pikmin, and I try to find my way. I can't, and I did take take down like two electric fences too. I took down that one electric fence that one of the treasures were, one of the above ground treasures were. So that way we could actually just easily get that with blue Pikmin, since we can't really um, since it's pretty much you have to go in the water for that. So, I mean, you have to go through the water to collect the treasure, so we have to have blue Pikmin for that. But we'll we'll deal with that later. For now, we we're gonna go and pretty much finish off this um hole. In the next episode, I kind of forget how many how many sub levels there are, so we'll find out in the next episode. I'm, well, I'll, I'll pretty much look up how many sub levels there are. 
You know, as a matter of fact, I, I'm, I'm just gonna look it up now, and then I'm gonna, um, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so there's about six sub-levels, pretty much. So we, we just have to take care of this sub-level, the next one, and then the final one, which you guys will see who the boss is next episode. But, um, yeah, so, I, I mean, I, 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 I do enjoy Glutton's Kitchen. So far, it's actually pretty peaceful, but at the same time, you guys can see there's bull bears over there, too. Okay, I'll give you guys a closer look. Where my cursor is, they're, like, up there, so we'll have to, we'll have to deal with those guys as well, so... I'm pretty sure everything's going to be randomized the next time I pick um, the next episode anyway. So everything's going to be kind of different um, the next time we return here. So, but, um, but yeah, I'm going to pretty much, um, you know, uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretty much send this, send the, um, you, I mean, you guys are watching it right now, but like, I already, I already pretty much sent this footage, the footage you guys are watching right now. I sent it on my computer and I scheduled it to upload. So that way I actually schedule it at a certain time. Um, and by the time you guys are watching, you guys already see and everything. I just wanted to mention that for you guys, but... Yeah, I, do, I always like this t the title of this hole anyway, you know, Glut Glutton's Kitchen. I, I just I just always like that title. It, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty memorable hole, actually, in my opinion, though. Even though I'm not... I, I wasn't really fond of Pikmin 2 at the time. I, I was still kind of used to, to um, you know, all these holes a little bit. Even though I kind of forgot most of these holes back in the day. But, um... Afterwards, and then I finally kind of like remember them look at this these bread bucks keep walking through my pigmen and trying to like you know split them apart a little bit it's cute ko all right i'm done talking now so i'll see you guys next time um i don't know what other videos i'm gonna be doing but um oh yeah and also tomorrow or well for you guys it's tomorrow but for me it's um yeah this this thursday or um this weekend stay tuned for my next my my live stream i'm gonna be finally bringing back live streams so stay tuned for that, and um, hope you guys are excited for that and all that. So I don't know, but um, yeah. So I just want to let let you guys know about that because I almost forgot to mention that I, I was gonna be hunched for a second just so you guys remember. If you guys didn't see my update, you guys already know. But um, pretty much just stay tuned, and then um, it'll be somewhere around four, five, or six. I don't know, three, three, four, or five o'clock. I don't know on one of those days. I either tomorrow or um this weekend. Just stay tuned, and then I will, and I'll see you guys next time. So, um, and obviously I'm pretty much coming back from the beach today. So, by the time you guys are watching this, I, I came back. So, so I'm gonna get more videos out and everything. But I will see you guys next time. So be sure to subscribe, like my videos, and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. And um, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.